You brought him back. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Oh, here's 42. Which one are you pointing at? Well, the pole, too. Oh, yeah, the pole? That varies depending on which group is throwing it. So I think that's the novice group. I have no idea, but I'm going to guess 50, 55. Yeah, second round. So is it more than a dozen? It does. The height makes 42 pounds. I am going to ask about being careful because it's muddy and slick in the handle. So we just want to make sure we're not like right in here. This one has a rotating handle, so it's not a fixed thing. But it's essentially the same thing. Come on. Oh! So that is going to be right after trying to clear 12 feet. They'll have three attempts to do it. So where do they stand in line? What's the same thing? What's the <laughs> so Nelson, come on. Come on, Nelson. <laughs> well, some of us, 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 family, it just, it really, they don't ask us why. <laughs> <laughs> so well, that's a great place to go research. Yeah, nice. <laughs> that's why I don't know if that's. Okay, Sean. Thanks. Go, John, come on. Come on, Sean. We're, we're a little worried about the. Uh, yeah, I know. Just be careful. Cross-cut, agree? Cross-cut, sir. 
Gets a bounce. Now gets a run here. Gonna build up at speed. And a pass quick. The rising lake power. Yes! Well done! First out, easy. See if we toss a kid over the one o'clock toss. Spencer Taylor. Well done. Well done, he makes it. Texas on the Cuba. There we go. Get the balance. Here we go now. Gets his run. Yes. And the time yes. of the toss. Yes, up and over again. Well done, Spencer Tyler. Showing how it's done. What did he get? A 12 o'clock toss. Well done, Spencer Tyler. Quite, you just missed the time. He lines all the leg power. Rushed in a little bit with the back with arms. But still, the second place finish for Kyle Valley. short notice on that one, you know. Uh, I don't know what to do. It's um, rusty. There you go. Shall we say we share the same name with, with some of the other old egos? Yeah, he, he's rusty old flatter. <laughs> So you can live long and prosper. Alright, so this one over there. Okay, wait, wait. There you go. This feels weird, but it's. Yeah, it does all the harmonics. Oh, you're ready to get my arm a 
break. So beautiful. Right. This beautiful animal. Aren't you so pretty? Thank you. So you can touch him. We, we raised him. So I use a, uh, uh, one, one, and one combination of uh, Murphy's oil. So. What we do, we put uh, tennis balls in it. And you put a blank and you lob it. To me, and you go knee. See how it just takes one rotation, it slides out of your hand. Okay. And it's right there. So let's try. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So good, yeah. Shots of the light arm shot, and usually you're going to go this one. Okay, all right. Yeah, there we go. That was played in his Athena is a very young auger buzzard. She hatched in May of last year. As you'll see, she's going to eat that entire wing in one bite. Sometimes she'll rip it apart, but usually birds are really worried about others stealing their food, like we learned earlier with the mantling position. If you notice, she has a bright white chest and a dark back. That's very... He's one of the largest owl species in the world. Eurasian eagle owls uh, live across in forests across Europe and Asia. After the show, you're welcome to pet Ollie. A lot of people notice those eyes right away. His eyes are so large that if we had the same sized eyes compared to our skulls, we would have grapefruits for eyes. He has ear tufts on the top of his head. Those are not his ears. His ears are in the sides of his head, and they're actually asymmetrical. One is higher than the other, which allows for surround sound hearing. They can pinpoint where a uh, possible prey item is hiding. For half an hour at a time. And in three years, you'll have a dog that's trained. Oh, wait, oh, wait, get up. Again, what Tony's showing you is that bubbles. 
The most important thing we can teach these dogs is that if you run on them, they're going to run away. So you've got to stay outside of them. You've got to contain them and keep them together. Get out. Now once they run out of room, then you send the dog, you tell him to go get them, which is what he wants to do, and then you stop him and you start to put the same thing going back the other way. So, okay. Anyway, thanks and shout out to the Queen Mary again, 16th year with them. We really appreciate it.